Previously on I'm Chris and she's Tara. Finally got our pizza, which is surprisingly delicious. <laughs> so after chilling a bit, after eating the pizza, I'm back to do some of my food preparation for the week. I find it a lot easier just to cook all my food excuse me, uh, on the weekend. So I don't have to prepare every day and stuff like that. It's just a lot easier. I mostly eat chicken. Might be a little racist. I don't know. But yeah, I mostly eat chicken. So got some chicken drumsticks from Aldi. And some chicken wings from Aldi. So I'm just going to cut those up, clean them up season them get them going and yeah nothing special but it's what we do every weekend uh not too sure what tara's eating she'll eat some of the chicken wings and whatever but she doesn't eat the majority of it i eat the majority of it and she'll just get what she wants she eats some salads and things of that nature but i keep it strictly chicken and yeah that's what i do have my bowl gotta have my knife I'm gonna sharpen my knife every week just because got this cool little knife sharpener when we went down to I think it was the Gold Coast. Works pretty well. Pretty basic. Sorry in advance if it sounds a little too loud. I think I might have broke it. See what it does. Sharp. I don't like touching chicken. So get some gloves going. Really tired. Pizza gave me the itis, but I don't want to do anything tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday, so I'm gonna relax. So today is my chicken day. I have this cutting board, but that's too small. Pull out the bigger cutting board and go to work. Got some big sizes this week. Sometimes it's kind of odd. Some days, some weeks you get some good sizes. Some weeks you get little itty bitty wings. So this week, thankfully, I got some big wings. Always like big wings. Makes you feel like you're in a pub. So I'll just cut those up and let you know when I'm done with that. So done with that, cut up all the chicken wings. So I think I might guess I'll season those and get those going. Wash my hands off first.
so a lot of people are gonna watch this gonna be some people saying ew that ain't right that ain't right uh, I just seasoned the chicken I used to clean it off vinegar wash it everything I read a lot of stuff and said you don't really need to wash your chicken and things like that so I've been doing that for a few years now there are the times that I still will clean it with vinegar other days I just season it let it go I'm still living so I prefer to just do it that way it's just a lot quicker I guess in a sense and if it's not really something that's needed I don't really feel the need to do it so that's just me a lot of people might criticize me and might say I'm wrong for doing that but hey everyone has an opinion and you're, you're open to having your opinion on how you want to do things. This is how I do it this time. And that's how I'm going to do it. So, I'm just grabbing my seasonings now. Shout out to Flavor God. Best seasonings on the planet. So, I'm using a little bit of garlic lovers. Everything spicy. I put a little lemon and garlic in there. What else? Cayenne pepper. I can't find cayenne pepper. Chili, chili powder, which is basically cayenne pepper. Uh, what else do I put in this? Put some ranch. Actually, initially I just put the cayenne pepper yeah put all those in I don't know what I'm talking about right now sorry about that anyway uh, first get a little salt on them we prefer to use the pink Himalayan salt so I just sprinkle a little on there you know salt bay here but I sprinkle a little in And I washed my hands, I don't know if you guys saw that. Washed my gloves thoroughly, dried them off, so I'm just not dipping my hand in the spices. Just in case someone thinks that. So I get like a teaspoon, I would say, of the cayenne pepper. Sprinkle that in. open bottle of the everything seasoning. I just go crazy with it. Guess a moderate amount would be a tablespoon. To me the more the better. Get some of the lemon and garlic. Sprinkle that in. And I ran out of ranch, so this will be my last batch with ranch, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna put that all in there. And say goodbye to my ranch seasoning. So that's all for the wings at the moment. Later, I prepare the sauce, so I'm just going to get my bacon tray ready. Bacon madness at first. 
line my pan with foil. Here in Australia, they have Goliath. Uh, completely different than back home. Same brand though, I think. Same coloring. So, perfect. Put a piece of egg in here. that up with foil. Then I follow it up with parchment paper. Here they just call it baking paper. But I follow that up with that. So basically the pan doesn't get dirty. When you cook chicken When you cook chicken, the oils and the fats and everything. So right now I'm just gonna mix together all these spices. You wanna get all in there. Get that going. There's the chicken all seasoned. Don't know if you guys could see, hopefully you did. Still preheating, so now just move on to cutting the drumsticks. So I cut my drumsticks, I kind of gave up and didn't de skin all of them because it was taking too long and my neck's hurting. So now I'm just making the seasoning, which I got off of Flavor Gods. I'm plugging them again. Maybe they could send me some free spices, but yeah. So I'm making this, I guess, soya sauce type of spice. So I've just added the ketchup, the honey, apple cider vinegar, ketchup. I need some ginger and sesame seed oil. I just slather this all over. Get it in the bowl. Out since there's honey. So, doing these chicken wings is a long process because you want them crispy. I guess if you don't want them crispy, it won't take as long. So, I got this handy fuller thing from Tara's mom. She got it for us so you don't have to touch the grills. Pretty nifty. So the wings are looking pretty crispy. I guess you guys can see hopefully. The first process of cooking them is more or less done so. Just starts boiling up there. And you're just gonna keep stirring it and turning it, let it get all mixed together and nice and smelling good. Cause then you're gonna lather up those bad boys in some sauce. Ooh wee! You can see the sauce is all over. They looking good and tasty. So yeah, that's basically part one of my food prep chicken wings are done i'm gonna throw in my legs and catch you guys a little later finally done cooking i messed up my last shirt so now i have on a new shirt so it's not a new day i'm just a messy cooker so that's the second batch of chicken uh, let me flip the camera around. Oh so yeah, that's the chicken with the mixture that you guys saw me doing earlier with the ketchup and the honey. So it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna have any until tomorrow, so might let you guys know how it tastes, but it does taste good. I've had it before. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much for today. It's pretty much all for today. 
I uh, don't know how this vlog is gonna be because I know it was hella long. So I gotta edit it, put it up, see how it goes. So hopefully you guys are still tuning in. You still like what I'm doing. More videos come. Have a good night.